Excuse me, is that you? Y M C A. the words to YMCA like who am I crawling around in my crib and I even crawl in my crib right now channel or welcome if you're new and welcome to another what's for dinner today I'm sharing with you three cozy crock pot meals they are all dump and go so all you have to do is dump in all of the ingredients and go about your day run your errands do what you got to do and when you get home in the evening you will have a delicious dinner ready for you and you didn't even have to do much work YMCA we're gonna say it Okay, I don't even remember the words to YMCA, like who am I? But I got this new shirt and it's so cute. It's got the little frilly sleeves. This is a cooking video, but I'm talking about my sleeves. But that's just who I am, okay? So stay for the party. If you like funny, if you like to shop, if you like to cook, I cook sometimes. If you like to shop mainly, stick around because you can actually shop from the comfort of your own home around here. I know a lot of people right now don't like to go out and about. They don't like to go shopping in the stores. But you know what? I do that for you. I take you all throughout the stores, window shopping. You don't have to spend any money and you can see what's in the stores from your couch. How amazing does that sound? So if you're interested in those type of videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below because I will be doing those every week as usual. But today's video is a collab with my girlfriends, Jessica O'Donohue, Amber at Home, and Mandy in the Making. They're not just YouTube friends, but they are my real life friends. They are an amazing group of ladies. And I just wanna let you guys know that over here on my channel, since I don't cook quite as much as the other girls, all of our recipes are super, 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 super duper easy because that's the way I do it around here. They're all very kid friendly. There's never a whole lot of ingredients and they're perfect for the beginner cook. With all that being said, make sure you check out the other girls channels after you leave mine. Check out what wonderful recipes they're gonna be sharing today. I have no idea what they're sharing. We haven't even talked about it, but they are gonna all be sharing crock pot videos. I will leave them all linked down below in the description box. Let them know I sent you. With that being said, let's jump right into the video and see what recipes I have to share with you today. Okay, so today I am sharing a fun recipe with y'all. Who does not like chicken and dumplings? This is super, super easy. I'm gonna go ahead and set this on high for four hours just so we can get it, you know, going. It is already about 12 in the afternoon, so I wanna make sure it's ready on time for dinner. But all you're gonna need is about one and a half to two pounds of chicken. I actually like less chicken in my chicken and dumplings, if that makes sense onion powder, garlic powder, about one teaspoon of parsley. You're also gonna need like pepper. You're gonna need cream of chicken, two cans of cream of chicken actually. You're gonna need chicken broth. You're gonna need one can of eight big biscuits. So this is a 16 ounce can. And then you're also gonna need more chicken broth. So I have this can and then I'm gonna add a little bit more of this. So that's what we're gonna do and let's get started. Okay, so you wanna make sure you keep this open and not locked while you're cooking. I know a lot of people will lock this while they're cooking, but you actually don't wanna do that. And I'm no expert, but I've learned this recently because of the pressure, so make sure you don't lock that. The locks are mainly just on there for travel. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add our chicken breast into the bottom of the crock pot. There you go. And then I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I don't usually measure, I just kind of like sprinkle. So that's what I'm doing with the onion powder. I'm gonna do the same thing with the garlic powder. A little bit of parsley in there. And then we're gonna add some cracked black pepper. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and add in our two cans of cream of chicken soup. And I will tell you, I do like Campbell's brand better than any other store brand, just because of the color and the texture. If you know, you know. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take this chicken broth. I don't think this is going to be enough, but we'll see once I get it in there how much 
it makes if I have to open another can or not. Okay, so I've decided to measure out the chicken broth to about three cups. I'm hoping I have three cups in here. If I do, I will have to open the other can, but I'm afraid I have about two cups, like exactly. Check this out. Two cups. Then I'm gonna use my handy dandy old school can opener to open this can so we can put in probably just about a half of this one. Does anybody else just open yours like halfway because you know it's gonna come out anyway? That's always what I do. Yes. Okay, so once you have all of that done, you're actually gonna go ahead and just stir this all together and it's going to cook on high for about three hours and once that three hours is up you can actually come back in here and shred your chicken with two forks and then that's when you will put in your biscuit dough and i will show you that when we get to that point so stay tuned i'm so excited chicken and dumplings is like my favorite favorite comfort meal this i'd say cheeseburger soup, and white chicken chili. So I've got three favorites. So, like I said, I have mine set on four hours because it does not do three hours, but I'll be looking at the clock and I'll come back and check on it periodically. That way I'll know when to add in my dumplings. All right, so we're gonna check on the chicken and dumplings really, really quick. So, looks like they may be ready to shred, so let's give it a try. It looks like there's not that much chicken in here, but it will, once I, you know, tear it apart, it will kind of thicken this up. And then when I'll put the biscuits in, it definitely will. So that's what we're going to do now. Okay, so I think I got it, you know, pretty good. There are some big chunks in there, but they will fall apart after I add the biscuits. And I still have to cut up the biscuits and get them ready. So I'm gonna leave this on high to let this cook just a little bit longer while I get the biscuits ready. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our dumplings, but you're just gonna take the regular biscuits and you're gonna flatten them out. And the reason why you wanna flatten them out is because you wanna make sure they are cooked all the way through because we're doing like thin dumplings. I don't know if you've ever had Cracker Barrels um, chicken and dumplings, but they have like little thin dumplings and that's what I'm going for here. So just make sure you flatten your biscuit out like this. Just take a little pizza cutter and that's literally all you have to do. So I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the crock pot. As you can see, the four or five pieces that I already put in there are already getting bigger. So I'm gonna go ahead and add what I've got cooked or cut up right now. And you're gonna end up cooking these for about an hour on high and then it should be done and ready to serve. So I have these four biscuits right here and then I have a couple more I need to cut up. We'll cook it on high like I said and We'll be ready to eat dinner. All right, here are the rest of the biscuits that I have cut up with my pizza roller. Okay, so now we're going to stir to combine all of this in here together. That way it gets cooked really, really good. And like I said, it's only gonna take like an hour. I'm so excited. It already looks so, so delicious. So here, you're looking at the before. We're gonna add our top to the crock pot and we're gonna let it cook for another hour on high. All right, let's check on the chicken and dumplings. Ooh, 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 it's looking delicious. I am going to give it a little stir. That way everything is even but it's looking so so dang good like i cannot wait to dig in to this delicious and so 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 easy i need to add some salt and pepper but this is dinner and 
and this is what the finished product looks like when it's done. It looks so, so delicious. Okay, so today's crock pot recipe is super, super easy. It is cheesy chicken spaghetti. It is so delicious. Thank me later, but all you're gonna need is about two cups of cooked chicken. I'm gonna use three chicken pressed, but I'm going to actually boil this first. And then you're also gonna need 16 ounces of spaghetti noodles. I'm also going to boil this first. So this is not quite dump and go. You do have to pre-cook the chicken and the spaghetti noodles, but that doesn't take long at all. And then you're also gonna need 16 ounces of the 2% Velveeta cheese. You're gonna need one can of cream of chicken soup one can of cream of mushroom, one can petite diced tomatoes, and then you're gonna need just a small can of green chilies and about a half a cup of water. Okay, I have my chicken boiling, but I just realized that I got rid of my other big pan like this, so I have to wait and boil my noodles after my chicken's done. Just leave it to me, guys, leave it to me. So, I need to get another pan like this ASAP. I've just been looking for a set. That's why I haven't bit the bullet and just bought anything because I want a whole set that matches. So if you have any recommendations, let me know. But we're boiling the chicken now. We are going to shred it and then I will obviously cook the noodles. Joy. All right, so I just took my regular spaghetti noodles, put them in here. I cut them in half or broke them in half. That way it'd be easier for them to cook and just eat because my kids, they will make a mess with these long noodles. We actually usually buy the ones that are already broken in half, but I didn't have any on hand, so I just used these. These will be fun. So we're gonna wait for them to get soft and we will add them to the crock pot. Okay, so I went ahead and turned the crock pot on low so it can kind of start warming up. Some non-cooking spray so the noodles and all the goods don't stick. After you've sprayed the pan, pretty much all you have to do is add in all the ingredients and you're completely done. I will try to dice up my Velveeta cheese just to make it a little bit easier to melt, but that's all you have to do is add all the ingredients. So that's what we're gonna do now. Now with this recipe, you really only need about two cups of chicken to be honest. So I'm gonna play it by ear. We do like to have, you know, a little bit of extra meat in our chicken spaghetti, our cheesy chicken spaghetti. So I'm gonna add a little bit extra, and then I'll probably save the rest for like, I don't know, wraps this week or something like that. So you're just gonna add in the chicken and the noodles, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add in the cream of chicken. Next, we are going to add in the cream of mushroom soup. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in the petite diced tomatoes. This is a 14.5 ounce can. Just fill in the crock pot up. It's gonna be so delicious. And then we are going to add our chopped green chilies. Now I'm going to take my Velveeta cheese and I'm just going to chop it up very gently into a few pieces, that way it's easier to melt. All right, and then last but not least, I'm gonna add a half a cup of water in here and then we're going to stir it to combine. Now, since I have so much in my crock pot, I'm thinking my spaghetti may take a little bit longer to cook, but usually you'll just cook this on low for two to three hours and that is it. It will be completely done. It won't look like this when it's done. It's going to look absolutely delicious once everything is melted together. And this is literally the easiest recipe of life. You could even make this in the Instant Pot. You can make this on the regular stove top, just whatever you choose. I just prefer to put it in the crock pot just so I can walk away and relax a little bit. That's my honest opinion about it. So I thought I put my crock pot on low, but I put it on high. So I'm actually gonna put it on eight hours on low because that's the only option that my crock pot has. I have the hearth and hand crock pot from Target. It is the crock pot brand. I absolutely love it. So we're gonna cook it on two to three hours, just depending on your crock pot and how it works. And it should be done. And after it's done, I'll show you what it looks like and then we will eat. Can't wait. All right, so it just got done. And look at how delicious it looked. I am going to give it a good stir, but 
It cooked for about two and a half hours and this is our result and how delicious does that look? All right, so this is my plate. It is so delicious. I've already given it several bites and I highly, highly recommend. I made this one different than I usually do and honestly, I'm not mad about it. It's really good. All right, so today we are getting ready to decorate for fall and all the things, can you not see? We are gonna make the easiest recipe of life and that's because I did a Walmart order and one of the potatoes were molded so I just threw them all away because I was like, no, that's disgusting, y'all. My whole pantry smelled like, I don't know, I thought it was cat litter or something. I, I can't even put my finger on how nasty it smelled. So today we are making the easiest pot roast recipe, if you wanna call it, that you ever did see. It is so good. It is different than any other pot roast recipe you see. So you're gonna need a roast. You're gonna need some little carrots like this chopped up. Now I honestly will probably only use about half of this bag. You're going to need one white onion and I'll probably only end up using about half of this onion because it is a larger onion. And then you're gonna need one can of beef broth. You're gonna need some teriyaki sauce, and then you're also going to need some sweet golden mustard. You can actually use honey mustard. Sometimes I use honey mustard for this recipe, but I didn't have any honey mustard, so we're just gonna use this sweet golden mustard. It's barbecue sauce, but I love barbecue teriyaki as well, so I think this is gonna be delicious, and literally, you dump and go, and it'll be done in like seven to eight hours. I'm so excited for this recipe. It's gonna be so good. Okay, so like I said, this recipe is mostly dump and go. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna put my roast in. And as you can see, it's turned a little bit brown. We're literally on the same day it's supposed to expire. I don't know, I smelled it, it smells fine. So we're going with it. We're gonna put in about a cup of onions, chopped onions. And then I'm also going to add in a cup of shredded carrots. After that, we're gonna go ahead and add in our can of beef broth. Okay, so now that my beef broth is added in, I'm going to add about a half a cup of teriyaki sauce. That's all you're gonna need. And then if you wanna make it a little bit thicker, you can always add some cornstarch or something like that. And then next, I'm gonna add my usually regular barbecue sauce or honey mustard, but this time we are going to use the sweet golden mustard, which is my favorite barbecue sauce of all time. And I cannot wait to dry this tonight, it's going to be delicious. And now I'm just going to add about a cup of the barbecue sauce. Look how good that looks. Okay, so now that we have everything in here that we're going to add in, I'm just gonna stir this around. There's not much stirring you can do. This will end up falling apart, but just kind of get it all covered and mixed in. And I've decided I'm going to add in something a little bit extra this time. I'm going to add in a little bit of garlic and paprika mixed together. I think I added a little bit of onion powder to this too, but you don't have to do that. You're gonna get plenty of flavor from the onion, but just kinda swirl it in there. Normally I probably would've put it in before last. I don't know, you never know with me, but stir it in, that way it gets all mixed up and we are ready to cook, baby. Pop your top, pop your top, pop your collar, pop your top on, and then we are going to cook it on low for eight hours, seven, eight hours. Just come back and check on it. You know, every two to three hours, come give it a check, a stir, and you'll be set. It already smells so delicious in here. All right, so it's been about two hours. We are going to check on our pot roast and see how it's looking. It's looking pretty good. It looks like it's cooking up. Give it a little stir, oh my gosh. Look, you can kind of like already pierce into it. Yes, it smells so delicious. But it's not done, so we'll see you later. All right, so this is what it looks like when you're done. I just pair it with some rice. It honestly looks like a regular roast. You would have like a Mississippi pot roast or something like that, but honestly, the flavor is off the chart. It does not taste like any kind of roast you have ever had before. It is so, so delicious. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you try it. And I'm about to dig in.
Thank you so much for watching another video and thank you so much if you're new for sticking by and watching this video on my channel. I hope if you're new, you will hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, subscribe and just turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos every single week. You can also follow me over on Instagram because I'm a major foodie and I love to go and find all of the new things in the store. I even have an Instagram account just for food, just for showing the new foods I find in Walmart, Aldi. Sam's Club, Costco, wherever. So you can follow that one too. It's so much fun. I just like to have fun over here. So follow along. I would love to have you and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.